こんにちは。So I've gotten a request、uh, from people that you know they wanted to know how to make miso soup or miso shiru. So instead of using the nasty instant one, I'll show you how to make the real miso soup using、um, the traditional ingredients. So let's get started. So here's the first thing、um, you're gonna want. The miso paste. And if you go to a Japanese supermarket, it'll look something like this. It usually comes in a little、uh, square box like that. And、um, there's several types of miso that you could get. So, depending on the region in Japan,、um, people use different miso. So, for example, in the Kanto region,、uh, which is kind of like the,、um, you know, the east middle part of Japan,、uh, they use、uh, yellow miso. And、uh, if you're from Kansai, Or you know, other places, there's also white miso, which is a lighter color, and there's red miso, which is much darker color. And you know, depending on the miso, the flavor is a little different.、Um, but since I'm from a Kanto region,、uh, from Shizuoka, I'm going to use the,、um, the beige、uh, style miso. So, this is the first thing you need. Without this, you can't make miso soup. The next thing is、uh, some of the, let's see, dashi. This is called dashi. Which is basically、um, it's made of like、uh, bonito flakes, so this will add extra、um, umami to the miso soup.、Um, and then that's basically it, and then the water.、Um, you need to boil water.、Um, and then for the ingredients, or、so、like the things that you want to put inside of it,、um, because you know, obviously, if you just have soup, it's you know, you feel like you're missing something, so you're gonna put the things in. So I use tofu as one of them. So this is the,、uh, the soft tofu. Typically, Japanese people use soft tofu.、Um, we don't use like a medium firm unless it's for grilling or, you know,、um, skiaki or something else. But for miso soup, we typically use the soft tofu.、Um, another thing I like to put is daikon. This is a chopped up daikon, but,、uh, you know, it's a horseradish.、Uh, some carrots. I'm not gonna make that much, so. Um, and then the green onions.、Um, I use the Japanese,、uh, the thick green onions, but you, know, you can use the thinner green onions as well. And then I'm also going to add some konyaku.、Um, so, konyaku is it's not cognac, like as in alcohol. It's actually、uh, made of yam or potato, and、uh, it's, it's kind of like jelly. It's, re- it's really squishy. Kind of ha- it's kind of got a rubbery、uh, texture to it. So, this will go inside. And、um, this is totally optional. And today I wanted to try something new. And、um, this is called sake kasu. And this is basically it, it's what sake or Japanese、uh, rice wine is made out of. And、um, it's, it's, like a, it's like a dough, basically.、Um, and today I'm actually going to make、um, what is it called?、Uh, kasu miso or sake kasu miso shiru. Uh, so basically, I'm going to add some sake. I don't even know what to call this in English.、Um, yeah, so I'm going to add some sake into the miso soup because I like sake. So I'm going to try it. But this part is optional.、Um, you don't need this. But before I start cooking, there's always something I must do, and that is to have a nice cold beer. Today's beer is Czech Pilsner. I know, it's not Japanese beer. いい音だね。はい、じゃあ乾杯いただきます。あ、うまっ。じゃあ始めよう。Let's do it. So, the first thing is that we're just gonna chop up the ingredients.、Um, before making the video, I already peeled the, the vegetables, the ingredients, so I'm just gonna go ahead and chop it up. So, when you chop up、um, carrots,、uh, you wanna chop them kind of thinly so that、uh, when you boil the,、uh, when you cook the carrots,、um, you know, it'll cook fast. So, I'm just gonna kind of、um, cut it like this. So basically, it's nice and thin. Thank、you
So, just like that. Okay, and uh, next is daikon. So you're gonna do the same thing. Um, you're gonna cut it nice and thin because the daikon takes a while for it to cook. So, um, let's, just, let's just cut it this way. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, like this. Okay, so nice and thin. All right, and then um, I'm gonna cut the green onion as well. Make sure you wash it beforehand. Um, I like to cut it like kind of angular like this. So, yeah. Hmm. What kind of thing? Just like that. All right. So the next thing is um, I'm also gonna chop up the konyaku. So konyaku comes in a little. It's like it's, a, it's, it's like water inside to keep it moist. So if you have a leftover konyaku, um, you know, you can just cut whatever amount that you want to use. And um, you can just put this back in a, a Ziploc bag and just pour new water inside um, so that, it, you know, it stays uh, moist. Because you don't want it to get uh, dried and don't put it in the freezer. So, konna kanji. Puri puri. Hey, so kore mo ne, I'm gonna cut this in half. Like that. So I'm gonna just cut it the same shape, uh, the same way that I cut the carrots and daikon. Okay, just like that. Okay, so the ingredients are set. Okay, so the next thing is uh, you're going to boil the water um, and then we're gonna prepare the actual miso shiru. Now, if you're gonna make the, the sake kasu miso like I'm doing in this one, uh, what you wanna do is uh, you want to um, put sake kasu in a separate bowl and put like a you know, lukewarm water and then you wanna mix it so that it'll melt. Um, so you wanna be like in a watery consistency rather than, you know, cause right now the way it is is like, this is like very thick and it's like, it's like a dough basically. So you wanna melt that and turn it into a liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the side and uh, let's go ahead and boil some water. You're gonna get a pot like this and then you're gonna pour some water. I would put, you know, for two people, maybe I'll put like three cups of water. Something like that should be enough. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and boil it. I don't usually use measuring cup because, uh, you know, like I've been making this since I was a kid. So I just kind of go by, just kind of taste it and see if it's too salty. If it's too salty, you can just add more water. Um, but yeah. So we're gonna wait for the water to boil. All right, so the water is starting to boil. So now I'm gonna put the, the ingredients that I chopped up. So um, I also added tofu, uh, konyaku, ninjing or carrots, and the daikon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these in. Um, I'm gonna wait for the, the green onions until the last uh, part because I like to keep the fresh flavor of the green onions. If you boil it together, the, the flavor is gonna go away. So uh, once you put the ingredients in, right there, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the heat down to low or low medium. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know let it boil for about uh, 10 minutes until the, uh, the carrots and the daikon are cooked. I'm also gonna go ahead and put some dashi, um, the bonito flake that I was telling you about. This one comes in a powder form. Right now I'm just uh, mixing the sake kasu, 
that I was telling you about. Um, so I'm mixing it together with some warm water and uh, later on when I add the miso paste into the hot water, I'm also going to add this to it. I'm excited. It's my first time trying this one. Okay, so I think all the ingredients are cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the heat. So I'm going to add the miso now, but make sure that the heat is off. Um, if you keep boiling it, you're going to basically, you know, ruin the, the flavor of the miso. So make sure it's turned off and I'm going to add this bad boy. Okay, so the ingredients are all nice and cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the miso paste in it. Um, it's helpful to have um, something like this. It's like a little, uh, like a screen thing. So you can put miso in here and um, you can just melt it in the, uh, the hot water. So probably gonna just start off with like maybe this much. Just put it in. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. I'm just gonna melt it like that. So, you know, when you put miso paste in it, um, you wanna taste it to make sure that it's not too salty. Um, if it's too salty, you can just add some hot water. And, you know, if you feel like it's not enough taste, then you can add more miso paste in it. Now, if you're just making regular miso soup, you can, you know, basically like this is the last step. Um, so once you're done, like you don't have to do anything, it's ready to go. And you just, you know, put it in a bowl and you just eat it. But uh, for me, I'm gonna put the sake kasu or the sake into my miso. So I'm gonna add um, the sake that, um, that I just melted in, in a separate bowl. So here's the sake kasu that I already melted. I'm gonna put a lot. All right, so now that it's all ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a nice bowl for miso soup. And then I'm gonna put some negi that I chopped up before, and there you have it. Those all.